not many shows where you're this close to a performer quite often. Um, and I think that really makes it special when you've got somebody who's brushing past you and then two minutes later they're a main focus and they're doing a rope solo. If you think you're like, standing at the back for a piece, chances are next time you're going to turn around and someone's going to be right there in front of you um, on the other side. So you just don't know where the action's going to come from. It's a circus like no other really. The audience don't know what to expect when they get in. Um, you're in around them, you're above them, you're they're just totally immersed in the whole thing. It kind of touches people in a way that circus shouldn't. You know, people leave the tent kind of misty-eyed or a tear in their eye. You know, it kind of affect, can affect and change people in a way. I would say that the show is visually stunning and it's mesmerising, but there's also a raw kind of organic feel. It's been really quite amazing actually to see all the different reactions from people from all over the world. You'll get some particular countries who will really enjoy it, but very quietly. And then at the end of the show, they'll just go raucous and you'll have to come back on and do three bows. And then there's other shows which, you know, you'll be there and the audience will be going wild throughout. I did have to do the show, or one scene in my underwear, due to a costume or function in New York. So I ended up flying through the air in my bra and my pants. But, you know, it's all as exciting. You never know what to expect, really. <laughs> We're all the stars of the show, we all build the tent, we all make sure that everything is able to run so that people can come and see the show. So I really just miss the family. It's an amazing show, uh, it's something like nothing else you've ever seen. Um, audiences should come because we're just getting better and better as it goes on.